Can you say two videos in one week, dude? That's a good sign for 2023. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Brent, aka Backpack B. Welcome back to Knife Chat. Today, we're talking about a knife that I loved that came out in 2022. It has to be one of the top budget pieces that's under $100 that came out last year. Uh, it's the Vostied Raccoon. Squirrely little animal, but a great knife. If you're new here and you like this content, consider subscribing. We're almost at 2,000 subscribers. I'd love to see you every week. At 2,000 subs, I'll be giving away this. A brand new Devo Stout in my Carta. Just a little thank you for all the people that have been supporting the channel and coming and chilling at the lives every week. I love you guys. So let's get into it. The Vasti Raccoon. Got another one, Vastid, baby. This right here is, you can't even see it, but it's the raccoon in green micarta. Very exciting piece that came out in 2022, I believe. And the price point is up on the screen right now. So it's exciting. For under $100, you get a lot here. I really love Vastid's packaging. Their branding, I like it too. It could be like a little simplified, like when they use the shield and stuff, I'm not the biggest fan. I like their typeface. Um, this box is really cool, dude. It's got like a matte finish to it all the way around. And then when you open it up, that's right, it's got a pouch in it too. So not only do you get a pouch, you got this nice, tin that covers the pouch and in this tin you're greeted with a velcro back pouch so for you pouch lovers you could throw this on there i love this pouch i think that's designed really well you get a microfiber which i hate <laughs> the size of this is not great you know me i want that penya sized microfiber for every knife this just uh you know at least they're giving you a microfiber they give you a lot maybe if they cut back on some of the other stuff and focused on a nicer microfiber that would be cool then what else i haven't even looked at these before this is a support card wow 120 day money back full money back guarantee return and replacement service that's great dead or alive wanted the right oh that's cool little is that a sticker that's a sticker that's pretty cool dude I, I i like that so you're getting a lot of extras with this knife that's see right here when they do the logo like this love it when they get a little too fancy with it put it in the shield eh. this right here this branding feels strong to me i'm a branding junkie you know that um so you're getting a ton of extras in this little container let's put them all back in here at least you do get a microfiber though. You know, some, some don't come with microfibers. Really cool patch. That's a nice little extra. And you get a pouch. So let's see what's in the pouch. There she is. This is the Vasti Raccoon, and I've handled this before. A lot of times, I've already unboxed things. I just wanted to give you an unboxing experience of what you're getting when you get the box. So this is what Vastid has to offer in terms of a packaging and it's like one of the best I think. This matte finished tin is really cool then it has a slip so your knife is definitely protected when they ship it and uh, you get some extra fun in it but let's get rid of this and focus on the knife at hand here which is the Vastid Raccoon Micarta 14C28N Steel thumb stud button lock. I shouldn't open that already you guys gotta wait for that part. <laughs> let's just start on the show side here nice grippy micarta i believe that this is actually t8 here let me grab my t8 small hardware too so i'm assuming that's a t6 but the main hardware t8 everywhere oh no not on the clip either so t8 on the pivot t8 on the screw and then t6 is here and here oh even 
gives you some tooling on the thumb stud if you wanted to change the thumb stud. And is that T8? That's T8 as well. So a lot of uh, opportunities to use T8 around the knife here. Staying on the show side, you can see that this is going to be a thumb stud deployment, which I'm a huge fan of. I love thumb stud deployment knives. Uh, you could also see the button lock here, which is recessed very nice. Pressing down the button right now. And it's very smooth. No button stick at all, actually which is one of the things that stood out to me on this knife. It has a very smooth button lock. Moving to the spine, you can see it's flow through design. Then there is a backspacer. One of my pet peeves, and I say this all the time, is when a backspacer matches the same as like the scale material. And there's, there's always an opportunity for some contrast here, in my opinion, unless it's like some type of integral backspacer where it's like a part of the scale. I like to see it be a little different of a material. So they could have made like an aluminum backspacer, even a steel backspacer that stood out and kind of matched the color of the blade and the hardware would have felt better back here for me. Moving on to the back side here, you could see the, the hardware. So tooling is only on the show side of the scale. So it's a captive pivot there. You got a T6 screw here, a T8 screw here, T6 on the clip. Look how far back this clip is. This is one of the main things I don't like about this knife is how low that deep carry clip is. That's not deep carry at all. There's about a full centimeter standing out above it. Also, you can see there's a lanyard hole. I could do without the lanyard hole, but I know some people like to put lanyards on their knives. I do like the clip. It's a very slim clip. Like it, it lays very flat to the scale here, which is nice. That's not going to affect the ergonomics too much when you have it in hand. And it has a Vasti logo. I believe that's Vasti logo right there. So I do like the, the clip back here, but I don't like the positioning of the clip. I think they could have moved it up a bunch and gotten rid of the lanyard hole. They could have maybe done an integrated lanyard hole instead of just a hole that goes through it. And then they could have moved their clip up and made it a real deep carry. All right, all right. So uh, that's a little run through of the outside of the knife without it being open. Size wise, we're looking about around four inches for the handle which is great that means i'm going to be able to fit all four fingers when this is open but let's get on to my favorite part here and we'll talk more about the knife overall so wow that's that's very nice uh and the button is super smooth wow uh wow yeah that oh you hear that little ting it that's glorious super smooth knife unbelievable actually that is standout um holy crap dude I, I can't stop doing that i'm a little shocked at the smoothness and the execution of this knife i'm not sure about the oem on this one i knew they were being oem by kaiser this could be oem by kaiser i'm gonna put it on the screen if it's a different oem i got to do a little research there it does feel like it could be a kaiser but something tells me they moved on to a new oem recently but whoever is the oem did a terrific job with the just the, the the deployment of this is flawless super smooth the button lock it's not actually detent it's like the i guess what you would call detent here which is like the strength of this button lock holding that knife in is perfect i i probably yeah you could fail it it's extremely smooth that's kind of the nature of button locks you can you know well that, wow it's actually hard to fail like i'm, I'm going pretty light on it and, and it's extremely smooth. The acoustics are incredible. And the button lock has absolutely no stick. So very satisfying experience opening this knife. Let's look at it open all the way. You can see this 14C28N blade with a little Vosti text right there. I love the design of this blade. I love the plunge line with a little flat that goes to the end here, a drop point blade. Look at this choil, you're gonna have tons of sharpening life on this. What I mean by edge life is when, if say this choil wasn't here and it just, it just ended right into the handle, you'd have no room to sharpen over time. Here, you have all this room, you can move all the way up and keep on sharpening, sharpening, sharpening until you get to the top of this choil right here, which is incredible. Edge life is very important on a knife, especially if you use your knife and need to sharpen it. Uh, and this has incredible edge life, which is great. Uh, the positioning of the thumb stud is terrific. I'm a really big fan of the blade shape and design. It's simple, but it feels very elegant. It's hard to do simple well without looking unfinished. This looks like thought out and finished. It's got a three, three and a quarter inch drop point blade here. Let me check out this handle here. 
Yeah, that's comfortable, very comfortable. Your middle finger wants to sit in this groove right here. It gives you a flat area right here to put your pointer finger. And then your trailing two fingers over here have a nice flat area to sit on. It feels very nice. Uh, the ergonomics are great. That clip does not get in the way like I said before. It really is a flat clip, very close to the scale. It keeps it low profile. Looking inside these scales here, there's weight reduction. There's steel liners in here, but they're recessed. I hate on Lays. This is an inlay knife with weight reduction with these uh, there's speed holes on the steel liners there that are that's really nice because it feels nice and light. It's just an all around EDC powerhouse, I'd say. That's why I wanted to talk about it because I've had this knife for a while now. This is not my initial impression. It's standout in terms of its action, uh, its deployment, its thumb stud. There's no movement, no blade play anywhere. Up and down play, left and right play, none of that. No rock lock here, which with button locks sometimes you can get a lot of that. So I think the execution of the button lock is top notch on the Raccoon. And at the price point, you're getting so much for your money. 14C28N is a great steal. Uh, I believe it's like a $60 price point. And for that, it's hard not to think that this is one, one of the top budget knives of the year of 2022. Nothing else has stood out, stood the test of time with me like this has. I always come back to it. It performs, is sim simple but elegant. Ergonomics are great. The action, deployment, the button lock terrific the tab filling the clip is great downside clip way too low move that up do it they need to make a second version of the raccoon to perfect it i would say i give it very high praise but this clip is a joke that's not like that's that clip was not executed well i don't see the need for a lanyard hole like this where you can you have a backspacer if you were to cut out a little groove and have a little bar you could please everybody get that lanyard hole out of the way make it an integrated lanyard hole so people can still have a place to tie their lanyards but then that frees up space to move up your clip and i think that's a big flaw in this knife is the clip placement which could definitely be fixed if the design was thought out a little bit more uh an area i miss this is a great little area right here for your pointer finger your pointer finger feels like it wants to live there and your middle finger feels like it wants to live in this little groove. They really thought about the ergonomics. There's extra space. I have large to extra large size hands. There's plenty of space. And on top of that, there's a nice small amount of jimping right here to give you some extra grip. Uh, it's in a perfect place. I could have maybe used it to be a little bit longer because uh, when you choke up here, you don't really have access to anything to grip onto. There's no uh, hoon or anything for your thumb to ride up on. So a little extension of this jimping could have helped with grip a little bit there. The thumb studs are, are a perfect height. Look at that. It, it kind of speaks for itself. Also acoustically, I think this knife is one of the best sounding budget knives I've ever had. It deploys effortlessly with authority and the noise is terrific. Interesting like pivot hardware, it's a little busy. I don't mind it because the rest of the knife is so simple. So to, you know, you know, there's like a angular cutouts on the side plus a ring in the middle of there, but that's T8 there. I'm, I'm okay with a busier pivot with such a simple knife. I know that this knife is sold out right now on their website. I'm going to link their website. Vasteed is a company in general, is a company to look out for. I believe somebody from the team from Kaiser moved on to start this company. Uh, I'll put a little slate with the name of the person who did that. And they're a company to watch. I've had a couple knives now. I wasn't the biggest fan of the Blammy. That was one of their first knives they put out that had like every deployment method uh, possible. It felt a little hollow. Um, just didn't feel like a strong piece. This piece to me, standout budget piece, definitely in my top five budget knives of 2022. Um, it's gonna stay in my collection. And yeah, you could do a really nice middle finger flick. Acoustics, terrific, and uh, it cuts very well. That's the last thing I wanna say about this. It's a tool that does its job. I'm gonna do a little bit of cutting for you. And it's one that I use all the time. It's definitely a user for me. Uh, and I highly recommend it. There's very little to complain about with a knife that comes in at around $60, 14C, micarta, perfect. 
deployment it's like per it is perfect and a thumb stud execution that stands out amongst a ton of button locks that were put out this year i don't know one that's smoother all around great piece that i think you should check out i highly recommend it and uh yeah that's been the vastid raccoon see you guys next time peace Stop the B-roll for a second. Just listen to this thing. Whew. All right, continue. What's up guys? I hope you enjoyed that episode of Knife Chat. Uh, for me, I really want Knife Chat to be more of a discussion. So if you have any thoughts about what I missed or a difference in opinion about something I said, please let me know down in the comments. I really want to uh, just chat about knives, dude. That's what this whole like segment I'm doing is supposed to be about. So let me know what you think. See you guys on the next one. Backpack be out. Deuces.